it's another good day. I'm here in my plane on my way up to check out a uh, property I just bought in Port Jervis, New York. And that's one of the really cool things about being a real estate investor is that it affords you really some cool freedoms. One, I get to fly to and from the parks that I'm investing in. And two, I'm able to write off those expenses through aircraft ownership. Now, a lot of people don't know that if you buy your own plane, you can actually fully depreciate it out in the first year of ownership. So if you buy a $700,000 plane and you had a $700,000 year, you effectively pay zero in taxes. So enough of that stuff. Let's get into this project that I'm doing and I'll show you exactly how it is that I invest in real estate. So I just landed here at Randall Airport in Middletown, New York, and it's time for me to make my way on over to Port Jervis to check out this new property I just picked up. So here we are at 3 Second Street in Port Jervis, New York. It is a three bed, two bath, single family home, and it's located in Upper New York, right on the border of New York and uh, Pennsylvania. Now this house was a two-family home that had to be converted back down to a single family and it has awesome views of the Delaware River and this bridge that takes you back over to Pennsylvania. Now this is an old typical US town and it offers really good value. On the first floor we have the kitchen. I'm going to be finishing this as I do uh, typical of my kitchens. I'm going to use large format tiles, white cabinets, stone countertops, stainless steel finishings. Off of the kitchen we have a bedroom and what I'm going to do with the bedroom is uh, just paint over these panelings. Now behind these panels typically are jacked up walls so you know sometimes in taking them down and, and, and hoping that they're good you just wasted you know walls and time and money. So I'm just going to paint these over make sure that any damage to them is repaired make sure that moldings look nice but it'll finish clean. As far as the floors, ripping up all the carpet and replacing it with vinyl wood look tiles. Since this is gonna be a rental, you want something that's durable and can clean up well because tenants may destroy what you put down. Carpets always get dirty and they can be a problem to repair. Now this living room space um, is just gonna be converted and opened up. The bathroom here is the first floor bathroom it is obviously in terrible shape. Going to finish it in kind. Subway tiles, tile floors, just clean it up, make it nice. Now the wall to your right is what separates upstairs from downstairs in the living room. So that's coming down and all the damaged drawers are going to be replaced. Once you get onto the second floor, you have what was the second floor apartment living room. Um, that's just going to be considered a family room now. And off of that room is another full bath with a standing shower. I'm going to retile this room uh, and put a brand new shower in, something that's a little larger and more durable than this like $200 shower that they sell at Home Depot. Um, don't know why anybody ever buys that other than to save costs, but they're hideous. Here I'm going to have to just put a narrow vanity, maybe like an 18 incher in there with cabinet space so they could store toiletries and things like that. And that's it for that bathroom. Um, this living space here, the only thing that I have to do is kind of put a hole in that wall and, and a, a doorway because right behind that wall is the second floor kitchen which has to be demoed out. And here's just another perspective of what it looks like when you come off the stairs and it gives you a sense of the scale of this room. Now the second floor kitchen has to be cancelled. Um, as I said, when I purchased this house, it had like a, the legal two family setup, 
but it's what's considered a non-conforming to family, meaning it doesn't fit the modern code. And because of that, it has to be converted back. And the only reason is because it was vacant for more than 240 days. So this is gonna become a bedroom and that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna take you through this project as I go through it and uh, give you more views of beautiful upstate New York and teach you exactly how I approach it, show you exactly how much this cost. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. And if you have any questions regarding what it is that I do in investing in real estate, please reach out to me. Either shoot me an email, leave me a comment in the comment section below. I'm really looking forward to hearing from you guys. This is just a walkthrough, give you a sense of where we started and I'm gonna be showing you exactly what we do from here on out.